In a recent tutorial, I showed you how to split a circle into six even shapes. That link is in the description if you want to go watch it so that you'll be up to speed for this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how I spaced out the pie shapes evenly around the circle. So let's start from here. We have some line segments that allow us to split this circle into six pieces. We're going to use the Pathfinder options and we're going to go to Divide. And so now we have this sort of like pizza pie here. We can right click and ungroup it. And now we're able to grab each of these individual selections. So here's the deal. If you want these to be able to be spaced evenly in a circle shape, it's going to be kind of hard to do that by moving them individually or even using the arrow keys to try to get even spacing between each one. So what we need to do and what I did to actually make the thumbnail for that video is I deleted out every other piece. I knew there were six pieces and I just wanted one piece right here. And what we can do is we can repeat this in a circle with a lot of customization features. So we're gonna take this slice of pizza, if you will, and we're gonna go up to object. Then we're gonna go down to repeat. And this is a new feature in Illustrator. So you'll have to have the latest version, but there's something called radial repeat. And once we click on that, it's gonna come out here and kind of just give us a default repeat. Now this is too many shapes, so it doesn't look like what we're talking about. It doesn't look like those six shapes spaced out. But on the very right hand side in our properties panel, we can change the number of shapes. So if we drop that down to six, we can start to see how this looks like those pieces in a circle. Now we have a radius here, which I can use my arrow keys to move up and down. You can hold shift to move it up and down in larger increments. And you can see here that those pieces move in and out from the center. So we could go all the way down to basically zero where it's back to the circle. And as we increase or press up on the arrow key, those pieces move and space evenly out from the center point. We can also do this with the handles out here. There's just one issue with that. When I select this handle, which is the radius, and I start to drag these pieces in and out, you'll see that there's an R and an A, and the A stands for angle. And it's hard to keep that angle at exactly 90 degrees because shift doesn't even do anything on your keyboard. So look, if you know how to do that and how to make sure that angle is perfect at 90 degrees, let me know in the comments down below. I can always investigate, and if I figure it out, I'll let you guys know. However, it is easy to just kind of spin this around and get this to look the way you want it to look, and you can just scale these pieces in and out just like that. Now, if you wanted these pieces to only go part of the way around the circle, that's what these in and out points are for. So you can actually drag these points backward and so you can have just like three of those pieces or you can include all of the pieces and then the other side is the same thing it's just the start point so where's the start point where's the end point and how many pieces are on that circle and so you can drag this in and out and really quickly and easily without having to you know go through the hassle of trying to space these out evenly you can take a selection from the divisions that you made in the circle and then take that one piece and use radial repeat to repeat it around in a circle and then have customization to kind of, you know, make them evenly spaced. Now, one last thing, you like the look of the spacing, but let's say this is like some kind of pie chart you're making, or there's a reason that you want to edit the pieces individually from this point forward. What I would do is two things. Number one, I would duplicate this, hold Option or Alt, click and drag, and duplicate a piece out here. In the words of Aaron Draplin, vectors are free. That means always be duplicating. So like you're keeping a state of your document alive. So this guy over here is gonna keep that radial repeat. This guy over here, we're basically going to, oop, not this one. We're basically going to commit the radial repeat and expand all the shapes. So we won't be able to do this cool feature anymore, but we'll be able to edit the shapes. If we ever need to go back to this point, we have that second piece over there that we could use. Now we're going to go up to object down to expand, and we're going to expand the object fill and uh, the object itself and hit OK. 
Now what we're going to have, if we right-click and ungroup, is every piece is selectable again. So if each of these pieces needed to be some kind of different color because this is like some, some evenly spaced pie chart that you're creating, you could easily do that here. Um, or if there's any other reason for you to want to get in here and like directly select each of these pieces, 100%, that's how you could do it. You could uh, expand that radial repeat, and then you can get in here and maybe touch, on, touch up some of these pieces or make some changes if there's anything you want to do there. That's how you can space uh, these shapes evenly around a circle here in Adobe Illustrator.